One of the world's largest car makers, Volkswagen, has spent a billion dollars building its new factory in Chattanooga, Tennessee. It's filled with expensive but untried technology. The factory's engineers have just four months to teach its army of robots to produce their new car, the Passat sedan, at a rate of 150000 a year. So when it comes to teaching robots how to make a car, how do they do it? The car industry is the world's largest employer of robots. The progress of these mechanized marvels is driven by the auto industry's investment and research into the high-tech science of robotics. And at Volkswagen, that research is paying dividends. The process of producing the Passat starts in the body shop, where the basic parts of the car are joined together. Over 400 robots operate in this factory, most of them as welders. Welding fuses metal together using heat, and the first lesson the robots have learned is to make the undercarriage by welding together the front and rear floor panels. This is where the first dimensions of the car are firmly set. This robot's setting the rear floor. This robot will set the front floor. That's a big moment for the car. The robots use a technique called spot welding. The metal sheets are clamped together. Then a pair of copper alloy electrodes concentrate electric current into a small spot, melting the metal and forming a weld. This way, a lot of energy is delivered to one small spot in a microsecond, so the rest of the sheets don't heat up too much. Impressive, but these robots are essentially only apprentice welders. It's vital their work is overseen to ensure they've learned their lesson. And watching over the robots? More robots with computers. These blue boxes are computer-linked cameras called a vision system. The cameras spy on every inch of the robot welder's work, like a mechanized line manager. We, we monitor almost every process here with a vision system to guarantee the accuracy everywhere. Most of the time a vision system is just used at the, at the very final process, but we use it throughout the entire process. The next step is to make the main joint between the vehicle's sides and the roof. Using spot welds here would be insufficient. So the robots have been taught how to braze. Brazing bonds metal together along a continuous seam using a filler material, in this case, brass. And what it actually does is it actually creates the bond between the side panels and the roof. Then it's a completed seam. It creates a very unique character line, a very smooth character line, and, and we think it really sets the car apart. Laser brazing is highly dangerous, so it's done in a protective booth. The uh, emitted light from the laser is very intense and the intensity can burn your skin, your eyes, things of that nature, much like uh, in a controlled environment like a radial keratotomy. Similar uh, uh, principles, so we have to make sure that we uh, uh, control all the light uh, and, and we contain it in this booth. The brazing is accurate to within 0.3 millimeters. By the time they leave the booth, each vehicle has 60 inches of laser brazed lines. Then another wave of robot overseers inspects every one. The mechanical spy snaps a series of photographs to allow every dimension of the vehicle to be checked. Before a proto Passat leaves the body shop, every one of its 500 welds must be absolutely perfect. Imperfections will not be tolerated. Any flaws are ground and polished away by another set of robots. Now that the robots have finished welding, the Passat is ready to move on to the next stage in the process. At the Volkswagen plant in Chattanooga, Tennessee, the Passat's frame is ready to be painted. Passat has a best-in-class 12-year limited warranty against corrosion perforation. This can only be achieved if every coat of paint on every vehicle is applied with absolute accuracy. To do that, each car gets a bath in base paint. The challenge is to ensure a perfectly even soaking, 
so each car is rotated 360 degrees using robots called e-shuttles. The e-shuttles don't just bathe the vehicles, they also transport them from the body shop. The e-shuttles are as new as all the other robots, so there are still glitches. The engineers have devised a way of withdrawing faulty mechanisms without stopping production. The e-shuttles are all individual, so when we have a problem with one individual e-shuttle, we can take it offline. So we take the one e-shuttle offline and the rest of the shuttles can continue to run in normal operation. It's the e-shuttle's job to take each vehicle for a spin in the paint bath. And that's a job no human would enjoy, because like the robots, this bath is electric. Both paint and body are electronically charged, so that they are irresistibly attracted to each other. This ensures every inch of paint sticks to the body. As you can see, the material dripping out of all the cavities of the vehicle. In this step of the process, the paint is distributed not only on the external parts, but also on the internal parts and all the interior cavities that you can't even see. You see the paint dripping out now. Once the cars emerge from their dip in the base paint, it's time to add the color. Teams of carefully coordinated robots work together to add and seal additional coats. Every inch of the vehicle's outer and inner surface is covered. The cars leave the paint shop by conveyor and arrive at the factory's massive assembly line. It's here that the body and chassis are united to form a complete car. This is the area where the vehicle really begins to look like a vehicle. It's kind of like the barometer for the entire facility. Uh, if the marriage line is running well, usually the entire shop is running well. The assembly line robots are also still in the test phase. And because this section is so crucial, any fault here is designed to bring the whole assembly line to a halt. If we have a stop in one area, it, it, I mean, it literally shuts the whole factory down. And we did that by design, right? Because you, you will eliminate waste that way. So that's a key item uh, for the Volkswagen production system. With the cars lowered to ground level, the engineers step in to check the handiwork of their automated students. Every detail of the vehicle is checked for quality. It's essential the car is completely watertight, so Volkswagen has come up with a unique test. The machines are programmed to create a storm. It's called the monsoon test, and it's like an extreme car wash. Each car is blasted from all directions, top, bottom, and sideways, with water at 160 PSI. Once the monsoon test is complete, there is one final test for the robot's completed vehicle. This light tunnel brilliantly illuminates every inch of every vehicle to expose the most minute defects. Each car passes through the light tunnel four times. If the robots have made a mistake, the lights will find it. Right now, we are actually just doing the final checks to make sure that whatever is leaving this line satisfies the, the, the customer completely and fully. And as car after car gets final approval, it's clear the robots have learned their lessons well. In just four months, Passats will be rolling out of the factory at a rate of 600 a day. Built by robots, checked by robots, driven by flesh and blood. Perhaps that's the next lesson.